town of Virat in Finland, this is Scandinavian Vegan Radio Broadcasting Shortwaves. Your instant comments and reception reports are highly appreciated. To submit your feedback, you can use either traditional mail or our dynamic internet pages. This is SWR, PO Box 99-34801, Virat, Finland. SWR, PO Box 99, www.swradio.net. Keep your short wave receiver handy and stay alert, SWR is on the air. Feature Story News in Washington, I'm Daniel Wenches. Malian rebels have announced a ceasefire, saying they've effectively achieved their military goal and have captured the northern part of the country, splitting Mali in half. Their advance has been made easier by disarray in the country's capital, Bamako, after a group of military officers in... General Ban Ki-moon has joined the UN Security Council in demanding that the rebels in Mali stop all violence and seek a peaceful solution through political dialogue. UN spokesman Martin Metersky says the Secretary General is still talking. This is in Mali aimed at ending the rebellion and uh, restoring constitutional order in the country's territorial integrity. Hundreds of demonstrators have gathered outside the Greek parliament in reaction to a man who shot himself on the main square. He had the old Greek pensioner was a retired pharmacist. He shot himself on Wednesday morning outside the Greek parliament, leaving a suicide note that blamed his despair and his struggle for money and Greece's politicians for cutting most of his pension. He said he wanted a dignified end before he was left, scrapping for food. Then he came to the spot where he took his life to lay flowers and pay tribute in a show of solidarity with others suffering the effects of the Greek government's tough austerity measures introduced to tackle the night. Protesters clashed with police in an exchange of petrol bombs and through the streets of Athens. Sandra Gottman, Brussels. The United Nations and Arab League special envoy to Syria, Kofi Annan, has called for a complete ceasefire in the country on April the Annan says there are few signs of progress. Clearly, the violence is still continuing. Alarming levels of casualties and other abuse. Google has unveiled the prototype of a new device called Project Glass, which allows the wearer to see information via a small screen that fits over their eye. While still in the testing phase, the Google Glasses are designed to display text messages, videos and maps, as well as take photos and obey voice commands. Quinn Bowman reports from Oakland, California. Google has unveiled its prototype of a futuristic monocle that would put the display of a smartphone into a lens in front of your eye. And photos released by the company show people wearing a slim metal band around their head with one clear display screen over their right eye. And in a video posted on the project's Google Plus page, viewers see the perspective of a man using the device to display directions to... Yeah, we are now broadcasting only 5 and 9, 8 
no no 6170 kilohertz and 1602 kilohertz on video band only two frequencies do that uh, antenna job outside Ja SVRn studiossa tosiaan DJ Häkä on äänessä ja päästetäänpäs kloonit lavalle, Sentinel Clowns ja täältä tulee Sylli Bassi. Jelly Bassi. Ja katsotaan miltä vuodelta se oli. Se oli 73. Ja tämmönen pienoinen köhä tauko oli tässä välillä. Tosiaan tässä kerrotaan nyt vähän näitä lankalauantaina tapahtumia jonkun verran ja kerrottakoon, että 11 minuuttia sitten on alkanut virtuaalisen lentopalvelun 65-vuotiskansalaisjuhla viikunta hallilla.